Guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Liquid Shop. We are here back on our Leeds United uh, career mode here in FIFA 19. Now, the first clip you're going to be seeing is actually Kieran finishing the deal for Neil Mepai. Um, the reason being he was around before I went to work and I needed to go get changed so I asked him if he could get my pie whatever the cost may be uh, but preferably a better you know a better deal anyway we come into transfer negotiations here my pie is worth 8 million uh, as you can see uh, you know he's 21 22 75 overall same rating as KMR Roof he's a promising player so you know that's what we want to do so first of all we were going to try a player swap um we were getting rid of bamford now you know we were just going to trade bamford for my pie okay and they wanted 10 million on top of <laughs> of patrick bamford anyway karen goes ahead and lowers it down to 6.35 million and they whack it back up to 10.4 so Karen was saying to me he didn't know whether we were actually going to get it done uh, this time around anyway he goes ahead and counters once again he's trying to save as much as much money as possible uh, preferably I would have wanted to get a centre back uh, in the January transfer window uh, but anyway he goes ahead and offers them 7 million I do believe for yeah, 7.4 million for Neil Mapai, and they are happy to get that done and dusted. So there you go, ladies and gents. That is Neil Mapai at our club. Welcome, sir. Anyway, we're going to jump in to the thicker things now. Uh, playing at Elland Road against Rotherham United. Uh, the squad was looking a little bit tired ahead of this game. We had a cup game two days before. So yeah, K Karen, uh, we started recording this when I was ready um, for work. And Karen was just kind of, you know, showing off. Anyway, so the first, the first part, I think the first half... Well, tension in the air here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? Yeah, let's listen to Ryan Tyler. Today on EA TV. Join us soon. If I can remember correctly, I do believe Kieran did the first half and I did the second half, or that might have been another game. I'm, I'm not too sure. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Island Road here. At home. See if we can pick up three points. Welcome to you all. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. As always, we'll try not to make any slips in the commentary, but there might be some slips out so, on the pitch, Alan, in these wet conditions. Yeah, and uh, I don't think we had a bit of a shaky start the match, so to the campaign. The um, off, a bit of a shaky start, players. like I say, to the campaign. You know, first game game of the season, yeah, first game of the season, we drew one all to Stoke. Second game of the season, we went three 0 down. Then beat Derby 4-3, which is the comeback of the life. Um, then obviously we beat Wal Walsall in penalties. We had to go to penalties to beat them. But now here we are, coming against Rotherham. Now Rotherham, in real life, I do believe they got relegated uh, from the Championship into League One. I'm not quite sure. I shall check right now. Uh, but the board, even if they didn't get relegated, there was quite a low tier team. To those two uh, so if we go to following, and this is the 11 field for this game. Golly. Billy Jones starts despite looking shaky in recent games, and they're going to go with one striker up front. No, they are still in league. Oh no, yeah, they did get uh, relegated into League One um, with. Ipswich for the first time in 54 years but saying that uh, Rotherham you know won the first game yesterday because the championship season and the league one season have already started along with league two anyway here we go 
into our championship season kicking off right now seeing if we can make an impact we've got Neil Neil Mapai up top with Kmar Roof uh, I'm beginning to like this pairing up top it's taken a f it's taken a few games to you know kind of get in get into the feel of things uh, with Roof and Mapai up top and the formation like I've said in previous episodes uh, but you know it's it's not really a problem uh, anyway Rotherham coming for a counter attack straight away bringing the ball down the left hand side of the pitch Kieran's good at defending so you know uh, that's what I can class him good as uh, anyway offside for that play there and fun fact Mears the sponsor on Rotherham United is a, a company we see quite a lot in Leeds uh, it's like a private contractor but they do a lot of work for like Leeds City Council and stuff so there you go can't keep it Fun the fact, right there. Throw. Anyway, um, Rotherham playing a bit of tick attacker here, passing the ball around the defenders. Uh, we managed to get a really good tackle in there and tried to begin with a counter attack. However, that was not the capability. It's at this current point in the game, it was just a lot of like feeling each other out. I was losing possession, they were losing possession quite frequently. As you hear the Leeds guys Could chatting in, the in the background. Across well brought in there. The um, no header being oh, cleared and the shot being absolutely terrible. Hitting it with the side of his foot. Um, not not good enough really from the Rotherham uh, front forward. Yeah, so Rotherham coming into this game, like you've heard Martin Tyler just said, they've had two defeats in a row in this season. So that already shows, you know, the team isn't as good as mine, you know, because obviously I, I drew with an ex Premier League team in Stoke City and we smashed Derby County after getting smashed in the same game. So. Uh, our form was it wasn't ex exactly consistent like we drew a game we won a game and then we drew with Walsall which is a league one team and then we beat them on penalties so <laughs> sorry guys that's another kettle of fish as Rotherham United strikers are sh taking shots and shots and shots here early in the first half 25 minutes in but we're just gonna play out from the back try and work and attack I saw a little run happening there and it was ailing but was it ailing or was it roof I'm not sure anyway uh, making a run goalkeeper getting there ball was just a bit too far forward anyway super duper Liam Cooper finds the ball there plays it down the wing to Pablo Hernandez Hernandez finds very good work there from the Leeds United boys Hernandez finding uh, Alioski I think in on the on the wing and then Alioski finding someone in the center and the, the goalkeeper was doing very well this game I have to like the shots that I had whilst yeah I put most of them at the keeper Swung in from the corner. The, the keeper was quiet, yeah, like it, he clearance. didn't fumble many. Anyway, uh, we're playing it out, you know, around the outside of the box here, looking for an opening, which I can't find. Anyway, uh, just Kieran decides to turn, turn, and turn again, gets tackled, and now Rotherham could have a chance at the counter attack. However, super duper Liam Cooper's not going to let that happen, is he? Uh, Playing through the midfield here, Calvin, Calvin Phillips, a couple good shots here. Matthias Klee could be on the ball, but once again, it's intercepted by the Rotherham geezers. Rotherham pushing now down the left-hand side of the wing, Kieran not doing too good at the, um, actually marking the run down the left-hand side there of the pitch, but ball gets whipped straight into the box and straight at Kiko Casillo. Kiko Casillo is just going to straight and kick it up the field um, and that's going to be it for the first half really. Um, yeah nothing much happened you know it was a bit 
you know, With 45 minutes gone, back and forth, so to speak. Club, how do you think he's but done? yeah, boom, uh, boom, we'll see you guys in the second half. So now we're jumping into the second half now at Elland Road against Rotherham United. And yes, I can confirm that I was now on the control. I was indeed commanding the Peacocks here in the game. So as you can already see, Rotherham getting quiet but far forward. Anyway, I'm playing a lot of passing game here. Looking for a few options, options, options down the left wing. We found Barry Douglas. Uh, Douglas finding Tyler Roberts. Roberts finding Ruth. Ruth finding very close there. And Luke Ailing scores. Luke Ailing of all people. You'll see a replay in a minute, but Luke Ailing ran down a lot of ticker tacker there. Takes a shot. Well, and defender and the goalkeeper can't get to it again. Luke Ayling with his first of the championship season. Our right back scored before our new striker from Brentford. So yeah, uh, now like I, Kieran, Kieran was just laughing. He's like, "How how is Ayling scored?" And well and how didn't I score? So Let's that was that was quite funny in fairness. Anyway, we're coming forward Leeds now, uh, looking for Kmart Roof, but Kmart Roof's a bit tired. I'm gonna whack him on attacking well. uh, to get more men up the pitch. But Kieran was telling me that we've obviously I never really looked at this uh, in in the FIFA 19 game. If you go into attacking, you have to have a formation for attacking, ultra attacking, defensive, ultra defensive, and balanced. Which I find so stupid because like all it jumbles up all your players. So he was telling me that, and he's like, you may as well go back on balanced, so you at least have players in the right positions. So I, I, I go ahead and do that after a while. Hey, anyway, we're all them whip a ball in. It's it's too far over and it's a throw here for our boys in white days. even when we're getting rain like we're getting here it just goes straight through <coughs> it does yeah we were uh, with uh, what martin tyler was saying it was quite surface. funny because when we were recording this That's there was thunderstorms and lightning outside so yeah so came our roof had a little bit of a run there and you know our attack seemed inadequate at some times, uh, coming up against the Rotherham defence, or when we were passing the ball about, it just seemed uh, like I wasn't doing anything right. Anyway, Rotherham are coming forward, whip the ball into the box here. A lot of scrappage, and what had just happened. You will see a replay on this, and you will see how slow that ball moved. I was I was quite furious with Kiko Casilla. Kiko Casilla was complaining to other people, really but watch this: ball gets whipped in, then a header, then a and then a pass, and then it's just a little roller, just a little roller. Anyway, I bring Hernandez off for Alioski. Uh, some fresh legs in the centre of the park there, so seeing it if we can all. break the deadlock once <laughs> again. <coughs> See if we can break the deadlock once again. Come forward, score a goal, get some three points. Anyway, speaking of that, K Mar Roof uh, is already moving forward. Alioski finds Phillips. Phillips has a crack, gets blocked there, but I reckon that would have gone in me. That's what I reckon. Uh, Phillips, you know, we're just doing some defending here. And we managed to get a tackle in there. Pass well the done, boys. Very lovely interception by Ailing there. Ailing finding Tyler Roberts. Tyler Roberts finds KMR Roof. KMR Roof goes for the run, however. He's just not quick enough, uh, unfortunately. And the goalkeeper picks up the ball. Anyway, Rotherham are coming forward once again. We've got quite a lot of space on the right hand side. Whips it into the ball straight into Kiko Kassi's hands. Kiko Kassi's hands is going to throw it out. We're going to play it out from the back straight away. We're going to see if we can find him on the counter attack. I think I'm going to play a long ball up to the right hand side of the pitch there. Then we're going to play central and central again. 
and then play it down no we didn't go to play it down we actually went for a shot but the shot got blocked anyway we're coming into the late stages of the game here you can hear the Lowe's Leeds fans going berserk we need a second goal here for three points anyway we're gonna go put run near post gonna whack it at full strength take a shot goalkeeper at straight at the goalkeeper So today's man of the match was, in fact, Luke Ayling for scoring that brace. Anyway, we find ourselves on the attack once again. Once again, we are on the attack, but unfortunately, that's about it. Rotherham play a long ball up, but he goes straight into the hand of Kiko Casilla. Kiko Casilla is going to play it straight up to our attackers, but we're too, you know, we don't have enough stamina. And that's the game there. Uh, unfortunately, it was a one all draw for us uh, here at Rotherham. But it's another point in the league, and anything towards getting promotion into the Premier League is quite good anyway guys hope you've enjoyed if you have please do drop a like down below subscribe if you're new want to see similar or the same sort of content we've got minecraft fifa uh f1 stuff like that uh when you do subscribe hit that notification bell so you get updated when my videos go live and comment what the favorite part of your episode was i'll see you guys in the next one take care bye bye and go make yourselves a very nice cup of tea. Oh yeah.